This plasterboard is currently running all the way up the wall, which, you know, once it reaches the ceiling, it should probably stop about where the ceiling is. It's not going to run all the way up to the roof where no one can see it in this roof space. So what if we want to cut this, just this profile of that plasterboard back to this ceiling joint part? The way we'd do that is by going to the view tab and clicking on cut profile. Now, a few of these tools are actually pretty helpful, so I would probably have a look at these yourself and just read what they do. This show hidden lines tool and remove hidden lines tool can um, bring lines to the front and back and show them in different display modes. It's kind of like the line work tool, but a little bit different. This cut profile tool is what we're going to be using though. So as you can see, we can cut a profile out of an element. And what you can do is actually pick a few different elements in the model but I'm gonna click on this plasterboard here. And this is a bit like the split surface tool, which we've been using a bit of, um, or the split face tool, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is just create a cut profile in the middle here. And what that's pretty much saying is, you can see there's an arrow pointing on it. If I go to the thin lines, it might be a bit easier. This arrow is pointing up. So anything above that is going to be shown, whereas anything below it is not. So I actually wanna just flip that Anything below is going to be shown, anything above is not. If I click the green tick, you'll see what I mean by that. Now you can see that that profile is only being cut or is only being shown up to that cutting point. Anything above it is not showing that plaster anymore. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.